Hi there, welcome to Bernie's Wood Leather and Knife Shop. Today I would like to show you how I make some outdoor benches for the wald sofa, which probably translates into something like a forest couch that we did build this uh, past summer and fall for the day nursery where uh, our children actually are going. So just follow me how I'm building these benches and I hope you will enjoy the video and have fun. The material for these benches uh, I got from one of the uh, big box stores. Actually it's just normal poles and uh, wood, heat, uh, not heat, pressure treated for impregnation. It's wood that's actually intended to be used uh, outside on a porch or whatever. Also the boards for the floor, it's actually floorboards that I'm using to sit on the bench. Everything is pressure treated and that way I didn't have to make any additional uh, impregnation for these benches that will be stored outside in the woods. Again, I was glad that my hammer actually allows me to cut fairly thick wood in one go, so that I could split these uh, posts. To cut the tenons I was actually making myself a small chick that I could uh, sit on top of the fence and that way I could make the vertical cuts into the posts and then later just cut off the sides. The pointy end of the post have been, well, not sharp enough the way they came from the big box store. That's what I found out when I made the prototype bench. It was pretty hard to hammer them into the ground. So I again made a small chick, allowing me to sharpen these uh, posts a little bit more. 
And also I have had pieces that I did cut off from the original pieces that haven't been pointy at all, where I just had to make the, well, the pointy end. For this work the sliding table of my hammer came in quite handy. The green barrel in the foreground with the yellow top is actually my dust collector from Record Power. It has two engines and uh, it works actually quite well. Well, unfortunately the battery of my camcorder gave up, so I cannot show you how I did put the legs together, but you can see here how I actually make them with tenons and uh, join, uh, tenon joints. So one bench consisted of two of these U-shaped uh, legs that later have been hammered into the ground. The ring nut on the side actually helped to stabilize and uh, attach the whole thing a little bit more foolproof or, well, burglar proof to the floor. Here I'm preparing the bench top. For this I did use boards that uh, have been intended to be used as floorboards for a porch. Pocket screws, glue, as well as nuts and bolts did then actually fix the bench top to the U-shaped legs. Here I'm drilling the holes to for the nuts that will attach the bench tops and uh, I made this so that it's not that easy that somebody just could come along and unscrew the whole bench. Don't forget this whole appliance is uh, meant to be out in the woods for yeah, basically without any protection so anybody just could come and I wanted to avoid that it can be too easy destroyed or that it just could be lifted off and taken away.
Here I'm preparing the ground screws or earth screws or however these things are called that are going to be screwed into the forest ground and be attached then with uh, shackles just to secure the bench more so that it's not so easy to just carry it away. Well, I hope you liked these videos. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, give me a like, share the video and uh, yeah, I hope you had fun. As you soon will see, we did actually install these benches in this forest couch and soon after we had quite some important and famous visitor. Well, that's all for the moment. I wish you Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year 2016. And well, I stay your Bernie and look forward to see you next year again. Bye bye. Bye.